Now, let us start some problems, some questions. And these are there in your book on page number 115. So, some parts I am discussing with you. Some you can do yourself as your practice. So, first is 8 step to the left of 0. These things we are going to do on the number line. I have drawn the number line here. The question is 8 steps if we move to the left of 0. So, what is the left? Again, I am telling you when we move this side, this is your left. And we move it this side, this is right. So, if we move 8 steps to the left, if we move 8 steps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, okay? We can start counting from here and if we reach after 8 steps there. So, what will be the answer if we move 8 steps to the left of 0? So, the answer is minus 8 we will reach. So, the next is 7 steps to the right of 0. If we move 7 steps to the right, we we'll start counting from just after the 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Means on 7th step, we will reach here on 7. So, what will be the answer? The answer will be 7. Or you can write plus 7 to show it is plus. But, let me tell you, if no sign is here in front of a number, it means that it is positive. So, you can write 7 like this also. Now, <clears throat> Next is, as you have discussed, you have learned in earlier classes also, in earlier chapters also, that what is successor and what is predecessor. Successor is always when we add one. When we move towards adding means, we are moving towards positivity. Okay? The number becomes more positive. Suppose 7 is the number and you want to write the successor of it. So you always, what you do? You add 1 in back. Then it will become 8. Okay. 7 will become 8. So which one is more positive? 8 is more positive. And how much? 1 more than 7. It is 1 more positive. 1 number more positive. So the number which is 1 step ahead towards the positivity is a successor. Okay. So on the number line how we can understand this thing. These are the numbers, positive numbers when we move towards the right. So let us discuss successor. 10. What is the successor of 10? So next positive number which is 1 more greater than that. Adding 1. So on number line when we move towards 1 step right then it will become its successor on the number line. So what is that? 11. So here I can write 11 is the successor of 10. Now what will be the successor of minus 5? You can see minus 5 is here. So how we can make it a little positive? Actually it will be negative only if we move one step towards that. But one less negative. If the number is less negative than the earlier one, one step less, one number less, then we can say that that is moving towards the right. That is the successor. We are getting more success in life. So <clears throat> from 5, minus 5, if we move towards minus 4, then it is its successor. One step ahead we are moving towards the right. So what will be the successor of minus 5? That is minus 4. Okay. Now what will be the successor of 0? Again we have to move one step ahead towards the right side. Okay. Here also we have moved towards the right. We move like this. Okay. Arrow is going like this towards the right. Now successor of 0 will be 1. Some more parts are there in your book that you can try yourself to practice. Now, let us move towards the predecessor. This is also very important. What we have done till now about predecessor. Predecessor, we have learned that the number which is given to us, <clears throat> if we subtract 1 from that, okay? We subtract 1, like 3 is the number, and if we subtract 1 from that, means the 2 we will get. And 2 is the predecessor of 3. So what about the number line? So number line is on the same thing. But to understand, like this is 3, what will be the predecessor? If we move one step towards the left, predecessor are always towards the left, one step towards the left. Okay? So now the number here is given 10. Okay, what is just one step left towards the 10? 10, 10 
then it will be 9. So 9 is one step towards the left that we move, we get. Okay, from 10. Now 9 is here. Now 5. What is the predecessor of 5? Okay, 5. Predecessor of 5 is 4. Because when we move towards the left, only one step, then it will be 4. Similarly, we we'll get for 0. What will be the predecessor of 0? Again, we have to move towards the left. And if we move towards the left, we'll reach to minus 1. So, minus will be the predecessor. Now, I, I have not written one more question here. I'm writing right now. Suppose it is minus 3. <coughs> what will be the predecessor of minus 3? Just think. Again, maybe the same thing you are thinking. Towards the left. Okay? Left. So, when we go to left, the number is minus 4 here. Okay? One step towards the left, we are going to get the predecessor. Okay? So, I hope you find it very interesting. Students, now let us start discussing one question which is given on page number 116 of your book. What is that? In this, there is a kind of table made in which the number of the name of the items is given to you. That what is the name? And then uh, somebody is selling them. So you get profit or loss. That is given profit and loss if it is there. And you need to represent these numbers with proper sign. Now sign as we have learned the negative and positive signs. So always when we have some benefit, some profit or you can say gain, we are gaining something, then that is being shown with the positive sign. Because that is good for us, okay? The amount, the money is coming to you, you are always happy. Happiness is just a sign of positivity. And what is negative? If somebody, suppose you have 100 rupees and somebody taken away, somebody uh, taken away or snatched from you in the way or any way, if you have lost that 100 rupees, then that is a thing of loss. You feel bad, negative. So we have to represent that, that thing with the negative always. So now the things are here and you need to represent. So uh, this complete five parts are given. I am telling you two or three parts. This you can do yourself. Now, mustard oil. Okay. The profit is written. Rupees 150. Pro profit is there. So what sign is to be there? Positive. You are happy. So positive rupees 50. Okay. You can write like this. Now, rice. Suppose you are selling the rice. Or you have suppose purchased costly and you are selling it with the loss. Means you have given, suppose you have brought a thing of 10 rupees and you are giving it on the like 5 rupees. Okay, you are taking 5 for that. So it means you have 5 rupees loss. Okay, you have spent more and getting less. That is loss. So rice, there is a loss on rice. So loss is not a good thing always. We show with a negative sign. Okay. Here again it is positive. So you can write positive. Wheat is also positive. You can write positive. So ground that again with the negative. You know why? Because there is a loss in ground that. Okay. Uh, these two parts also you can do yourself. But I have also done. We have discussed it. Like this you can show this question in book only. Okay. I hope you have understood this. Now let us do, do, do some try these. Page number 116. First of all, we do the try these and then after that, we do the try these of page number 119. So what is that in there? We need to represent whatever it is given. We need to represent these numbers. What they are saying that with the appropriate sign, we need to write these numbers. So it is given 100 meters below sea level. Sea level we have already discussed. What we need to write below sea level. So below sea level is always represented the negative sign. So it is minus 100 meters. Yeah. Yes, in that example we forgot to discuss about the temperature. Let me discuss that also. Uh, you have uh, many times you have heard in summers that the temperature is raising and raising, moving towards the positive side that is more and more summers. 
like it is uh, maybe 40 42 like that and in the winters it is coming down in the hilly areas maybe it is coming down towards zero degree celsius but is it coming down below zero also yes many times you have heard that below zero it is minus uh, four degrees celsius minus 10 degrees celsius in siachen glacier you have heard sometimes in winters there is temperature minus 48 minus 50 degrees celsius like that so we need to write here 15 degrees celsius below zero degrees celsius so below is always here yeah, negative so we need to write here uh, 15 degree they are saying so minus 15 degree celsius we can write now the next part is any five numbers less than zero we need to write less than zero just recall i'm not going to make the number line now just recall in your mind what were the number below zero less than zero they are always towards the left side so what are the numbers towards the left the numbers are always in the negative so we can write minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 we can write other numbers as well not only these okay any five numbers less than 0 even you can write like this minus uh, 2 minus 5 minus 10 minus 100 it is not saying that you need to write continuously but the condition is they should be less than zero. So all numbers which are negative are less than zero. Now moving towards the next part, the try these page number 119. This is also very interesting. This is we need to compare the numbers. Okay. Earlier you were comparing the positive numbers and zero only. If I ask which one is greater, one, one is greater or two is greater? Everybody can easily tell me that two is greater, ma'am. One is very, one is less than the two. But now the thing is a little more interesting by saying that negative numbers are here introduced. As you all are smart children, you can definitely do it in easy manner. I'm not going to draw the number line. Just keep the number line always in your mind if you want to use then compare using less than greater than or equal to sign now you can see they are not equal one is greater one is bigger as we have just discussed here the negative numbers are always smaller than the zero so we need to put this sign okay smaller or smaller we just put up this pinpoint okay uh, a kind of crocodile. The crocodile want to open the face towards the bigger number always. Now the next minus 1 and minus 15. So uh, we have already discussed more the number is negative, more smaller it is. Okay. More negativity, more smaller. So which one is more negative? This is more negative. So more smaller is this. So we need to put the sign. Here which one is negative? Negative is always smaller. So here is one negative only this. So this is smaller. Now which one is negative here? This. So negative is always smaller than the positive numbers. So in this way. If both the negatives are given then you need to see which one is more negative. So more negative will be smaller. Lesser neg negative will be greater. So in this way you can do these questions.